Hey guys, it's Tom Loop here, and today I'm going to do, I suppose, a slightly brief tutorial of how to make patches in Flex. Obviously, I'm on iOS 8, as you can tell. Uh, using Flex 2, I'm on the most recent beta, which at the moment is 1.949, I believe. We'll check. That's tiny bar. That's reloading data. Yeah, 1.949. Uh, version number actually really shouldn't matter too much, but just for the sake of having that, that's what it is. So I guess we can start off with doing one of the really one of the easiest ones, one of the first ones that I did, uh, which was creating nested folders. So I'll go to start a new patch. So you click the top here, you scroll down to Springboard, and what you can do is you search for the uh, so to start off, I suppose I have some knowledge that you guys won't. But even if you don't, you can search for things. So you search for a class that has the word folder in it. So we have a bunch here. So we have SB root folder doc animation view controllers. So okay, if we're trying to allow nested folders, that doesn't that doesn't really sound like what we're looking for here. We have SB folder background view, which again. Doesn't really sound what we're looking for. SB root folder controller, maybe. So we go here, and because we know that we want nested folders, um, we can always just throw a search and be like, hey, is there nested folders here? So we can search for nested folders, and there's not. So if you want to be more thorough, you can go and look through the classes that are in, or through the, sorry, through the methods that are in this class. Uh, to see if there's anything that, oh yeah, you can't swipe up with tiny bar. Um, to see if there's anything that might fall under what you're looking for. However, I have knowledge of this, so I don't need to. Uh, I don't. <laughs> I don't need to. Um, to go through this again. So what we actually were looking for is folder settings here. And so see, we here we have one boolean uh, variable in the method, so we can pick that. And we, yes, we have a void and a, and a, with a boolean on the end, and then a boolean with allow nested folders. So we can pick both of them, but what we really need is the one on the top here. So when we go back, um, we go to this. This is a boolean. We can change it to true or false, which is what a boolean variable is. Then when we restart the phone, so you scroll all the way down. I have a bunch that I'm working on, including this one right now. We turn this on, and then we restart our phone. It's going to be redundant because I already have the patch that does that, but um, I'll restart my phone and you can see exactly what it allows you to do. The nice thing about the 6 is if you hold your finger on the, uh, oh yeah, I also have my uh, hue set to do that on the on the home screen, which is awesome. If you hold your finger on the sensor as the phone's uh, respring, it actually just starts off on your desktop, which is really nice. Or your, Home screen, I suppose. So, for example, if I want to make a new folder, just boop, nest folder, and like it's done. It's just there. Yeah, games terminal is a game, apparently. Fantastic. So, yeah, there's one. Holy crap, that went fast, didn't it? No. Wrong folder. Get out of there. Please. Mate. What is going on? All right, I'll fight with you later. Um, so that's one. And that's a really simple one because it's exactly what you'd expect. It's, it is titled after itself. So that one's really, really easy. Uh, for example, however, we have this one. Like I made a click, a quick clear one. You can ignore these two here because I was just fooling around trying to get rid of uh, um, the separators on the lock screen like at the top of the bottom which I finally did manage which is nice so again what I did here we got uh, I'll make a new patch again just to show you all you have this and so you go and you do a search and you execute springboard and I was like hey well I'm looking for the clear button so I'm gonna type clear in and see what comes up 
And then, holy shit, there is an entire class dedicated just to the clear button. That's fantastic. So I looked through it, and I was like, oh, okay, like, what's going on? We've got all these things. We've got image with graphics quality, and it's a long, so you can set... Um, the you can set the quality of that, all that stuff. Uh, wonderful, but completely useless to us. And then we scroll down and we see the button state. I'm like, oh, so I saw that, and I, my curiosity was piqued. And so the default value of that is zero. So I was like, hey, I'm gonna set it to one. Um, as you'll see in the actual patch here, I've set it to one. So. For the sake of demonstration, I'll show you guys. Restart. I have some notifications waiting, as you saw. Whoa, jump cut. Sorry about that. I know what you're thinking. I'm a stinking liar. No, my iPad actually ran out of room <laughs> as I was recording. So it was just like, hey, I'm going to stop recording and not tell you at all. That sounds great. Okay, so I actually don't have any quick replies right now, sadly. But it does work, I assure you, because you can download it, and it works. It does work. Thankfully, I'm actually a big fan. That's one of my biggest annoyances with the little things in iOS 8 was, and 7 was that. So the next thing I'm going to show you, probably one of the trickiest ones, I suppose. I wouldn't recommend doing this as a way of handling your business with every patch you make. You can but you'll spend a lot of time doing it. And it won't be fun, it'll be a process, it'll be annoying. So I wouldn't recommend it, but a way you can do things is, for a high dock background, I'll show you, I'll create a new patch again. I wanted, obviously, to hide the dock background, so I did a search for SB dock, because I know, dock, because I know, that's a, I know that is a class, and it's fairly safe to assume, that it would be a class. If you don't know the class names, you can always just search for doc, and basically the same thing comes up, and it's fairly evident which one you need. Again, SP root folder doc animation view controller, maybe, but if you look in here, set force interface orientation, force interface orientation, show to auto rotate, support interface orientations. None of those are anything that's going to help us get rid of the background. So obviously we don't need that. SB root folder with doc. Again, not going to help us. SB doc icon list view. The list of the icons is not going to help us hide the background. So we want to go here. This is where we need to look. So what I did was, I saw all these things. I saw default height. I saw background contrast did change. I saw wallpaper did change for variant. And doc edge as well. What I really thought, I was said, oh, Set background alpha. I was like, I was set. I was like, this is perfect. This is exactly what I need. So I'll, I set those things. I grabbed all of them and I went back and I changed them all to things that I would thought individually. I changed them all to things I thought would get rid of the dock background. And I went through all of them and none of them did squat. And I was mad. So out of spite, I came back and I just highlighted every single thing. And I didn't change anything and I resprang. And of course, the fucking dock was gone. So, I, uh, due to my success, I now had to investigate which one of the 13 methods there was in this class that actually gave me success. Uh, it was no easy task. However, you can, if you do want to make a patch, you can select them all and go through and figure out which one does it. In this case, void DLC was the one that gets rid of the back background of the dock. So there we go, you have that there at the very bottom in this patch that I just created. And up here you'll see hide the dock background. Oh, f I lied. DLOC is a different one. Um, it's a hiding a different thing in a different patch. I'm sorry. So layout subviews is the one that eventually I narrowed it down to, and I deleted all of the all of the methods except for that one, and it applied the patch and resprung, and uh, it worked out, and everything was fantastic, and I was one happy camper. So 
yeah, this long-winded video is basically just a way to kind of introduce how to use Flex and the kind of things that it can do and how to try and make your own and the methods you can do and go about in making your own. Um, it may not guarantee success for everything, but as you can see, I have basically every single patch here except for this one, this one, this one, this one, and that one. So every patch here except for five of them I've created all on my own and I've uploaded all of these to the uh, the cloud on Flex. Some of them are there now, some of them won't be until a bit later. But um, yeah, basically most of these are things that I've put up for everyone to enjoy because I did a lot of work on them. Well, I guess not a lot of work, but I did a bunch of work on them to figure them out. Um, and I hope you guys can do your own things and figure things out and, and put them up in the cloud too so others can enjoy it. All right, uh, thank you guys for watching. This was uh, recommended to me by a few people on Reddit actually many times over the course of probably about a year now so i guess it's good that i've finally done it um all right yeah cheers guys thanks for watching